my name's Dr. Catherine and this is my trusty sidekick Delilah who has actually gone to sleep on me already. Today we're going to be talking to you about dog eye discharge. We're going to be talking about the different kinds of discharge that dogs can get from their eyes. We're going to be talking about some treatment options for the different types of discharge and we're also going to be talking about general eye care to help prevent any eye discharge and any irritation from recurring in the future. So let's get started. So number one, starting with what we call epiphora or excessive tear production. You may have noticed this a lot with white fluffy dogs. They often have a lot of like brown staining underneath their eyes. They get a lot of tear production. Excess tear production be can be caused by a number of things, but generally what you'll see with that condition is lots of water, or lots of tearing around the eyes and the fur might get kind of brown stained or stinky and sometimes even infected around that, that skin area. So the different types of causes can include irritation to the eye or both eyes. Sometimes they have excessive eyelashes that rub on the eyeball itself or they might have inflammation from, for example, allergies or some other physical irritation. Sometimes they can develop excessive tearing from corneal ulcers, tumors, and also just pain in the eyes can cause excessive tearing. Because there are so many different reasons why there's excessive tearing, there are also a lot of different treatment options. So if it is an irritation, we want to remove the irritating uh, substance. So if it's an allergy, we want to be dealing with the allergies and you can check out my video all about dog allergies to learn how to diagnose and treat dog allergies. If it's some physical irritation, so if it's eyelashes or obviously some object in the eye, we want to be removing those. If there's some kind of corneal damage, we may want to be using, for example, antibiotics and topical medication to clear up the cornea. If there is duct obstruction, so if the tear ducts themselves are obstructed, we might need to be doing surgery. That's something to discuss with your veterinarian. And we may also need to apply some kind of pain relief if the excessive tearing is related to your dog being in pain as well. Second on the list of the different types of eye discharge is related to the type of breed that your dog is. If your dog is of a breed where the eyelids might droop inwards, so they might slope inwards or outwards, some dogs get really droopy eyes, um, or if the eyeballs pop out more than normal, so if they're like a Pekingese kind of breed or a pug for example, we want to be chatting to your vet about addressing any kind of conformational issues. Sometimes they do require surgical correction just to make sure that the eyelids are functioning properly. So the eyelids A should have eyelashes that don't get onto the surface of the eyeball so they're not creating an irritation and the eyelids also need to close properly. Some breeds of dogs, the eyelids don't close properly. Eyelids need to do that so that they can protect the dog from any irritants and from the wind and also to make sure that the eye is getting lubricated properly. Third item on our list of the causes of discharge in eyes is conjunctivitis or what some people call pink eye and that is when you'll notice one or both eyes or one or both eyes of your dog Oh, that's a nice visualization, thank you. Uh, instead of being nice and white, like we see with Delilah, uh, the eye itself gets really red. So the conjunctiva, the lining of the eyeball, gets really red and inflamed. So conjunctivitis can be caused by a whole bunch of different things. It might be a one-off infection. It might be related to allergies or some kind of irritation from the wind. It might be related to a physical deformity in the eye. So again, it could be issues with the tear duct. Diseases like distemper can also cause conjunctivitis. And other causes of conjunctivitis also include birth defects or dry eye. And I'll chat a little bit more about dry eye shortly. Different types of treatment can include removing the irritant. So again, if it's a physical irritant, we want to remove it if it's excessive eyelashes or if there's something like a foreign body lodge in there we want to be getting rid of that irritating factor if it's an allergy we want to be using for example steroids or antihistamines to help reduce the body's immune response dry eye we want to be treating with special medication that I'll chat about shortly tumors and any kind of tear duct issue you, you definitely want to see a vet about that because sometimes that can require surgical correction and as I mentioned earlier pain is a 
big factor for a lot of these eye conditions so we want to make sure that your veterinarian is also providing pain relief. Ways to tell that your dog is in pain or irritated by that eye is if they're blinking or holding that eye shut a lot. Fourth on our list is dry eye, which I mentioned just previously. Dry eye is essentially just that, the dog's eye is drier than it should be and that is because there aren't enough tears present. Now a lot of different things can cause the dog's eye or both eyes to not create enough tears. Sometimes it can be a physical injury or some kind of birth defect to the tear producing gland or even the duct that drain the tears. Sometimes it can be the body mounting an immune response to that tear producing tissues. Um, so the body's literally attacking itself. It can be also caused by the disease I mentioned in the context of conjunctivitis and that is distemper. Symptoms of dry eye are that your dog's eye looks really angry. So it doesn't have that kind of wet look that a normal eye will look at. The whites of the eyes will look really red and there'll often be a lot of blood vessels. The dog often is blinking a lot or holding their eyes shut because the irritation on the surface is really painful for them. If left to go for too long, a lot of the surface of the eyeball, so the corneas can develop ulcers because it's been dried out so much, there hasn't been enough lubrication. And the discharge can often look really kind of thick and gunky and they might even get, develop secondary infections which can turn kind of the discharge into a yellowy green color as well. Dry eye is a condition that I definitely want you to see your veterinarian about because it can be quite a chronic issue and can be incredibly painful and as I mentioned develop ulceration which can get really nasty if it's not treated properly. Different treatment options will address the underlying cause but generally consist of applying a lubricant to the eye so either a, a water-based lubricant or an oil-based one that's going to stick on there for a longer time and just help to add that extra mo moisture that the eye so desperately needs. Antibiotics can sometimes be necessary to treat any secondary infections and also sometimes immunosuppressant drugs. So if the cause of the dry eye is that the body's immune system is attacking itself, we need to be applying drugs that are going to stop that immune system. Now we've covered the different types of discharge that you may experience with your dog and different treatment options for those. So a quick recap, excessive tearing, different breeds can be predisposed. So the short face breeds, the brachycephalic or the breeds that have droopy eyes like St. Bernard's and Bloodhound kind of breeds, they can be prone to having excessive discharge. Conjunctivitis is a cause, dry eye is a cause. And let's chat a little bit about how to actually medicate the eye. We want to be lifting up the eyelid like this or pulling down the eyelid um, to create a nice pocket so that the medicine can fall into. And then holding your hand, both hands on and now dripping it in the eye. Good girl. There you go. You are so good, so good. There we go. And then they need lots of pats and lots of treats afterwards because they hate it, don't you, don't you? So Quickly, if you're using ointment instead of the drops, same deal applies, we want to use the same technique, but final step is that we want to also make sure that the ointment makes contact with the full surface of the eye. Unlike drops, ointment is really kind of thick and goopy and it, if you're just applying it, it can just stay in the same spot. So we want to, after we've applied it, close the eyelids like I'm doing here and just give a nice kind of gentle massage with the eye closed to make sure that the ointment is making its way all over the surface of the eye. So now we've covered the basics, we've covered the different types of discharge, different treatment options and how to apply medication and eye washes to your dog's eye. Let's chat quickly about prevention. So how to prevent your dog from experiencing issues in the first place. First important part of pre preventative care is monitoring. So checking the pupils, making sure they're the same uh, size, looking to see if their one eye looks any different to the other, maybe it's bulging out a little bit more or, or the um, eyelid 
they're closing a little bit more, they're blinking more, maybe you're noticing the third eyelid protruding, any uh, redness of the eye or discharge, maybe it's tearing more than you're, you're used to or you're noticing white or yellow or green discharge. So any abnormalities, go see your veterinarian. Second on our list of preventative care is avoiding irritation. So if you're for example taking your dog to the beach and you notice they're getting really sandy just make sure that you that you're looking at the eyes and um, seeing whether any sand may have gotten in there sometimes things can lodge in the third eyelid for example if you're shampooing your dog for example or applying some kind of flea product please keep that out of their eyes because they're all very irritating and then confirmation so if your dog has a lot of fur that gets in the eyes and we all know the kind of poodle dogs and fluffy dogs can grow a lot of fur over their eyes so trimming the hair around their eyes just so that there's a nice wide full like, view there's nothing getting in their eyes the hair is going to irritate so that's it we've, we've covered different types of discharge, different treatment options, and how to prevent long-term issues. If you have any questions about what we discussed today or general questions about pet care, please pop them in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to our channel because Delilah and I, despite her going to sleep, we do make an effort to upload videos every week. Well, at least one of us makes the effort. The other one just likes to sleep through it all. Don't you, Delilah? So please subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you join us. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.